Hey, how's it going everybody? Sean here for another edition of Sean's Solo Review. Today I'm going to be talking about Wolfenstein The Old Blood, the standalone prequel to last fall's uh, Wolfenstein The New Order, which was to many and to myself a huge surprise. Huge, huge surprise. Really, really loved that game. Um, kind of didn't have any expectations for it whatsoever, so maybe that also helped my enjoyment. Uh, but the thing about Wolfenstein The New Order is that it successfully kind of merges kind of uh, gameplay of the past and modern gameplay in terms of uh, uh, for FPSs, for FPS shooters. Because you're not going to spend a lot of time looking down the sights and precisely aiming. No, it's a run and gunner. Um, it does give you kind of like a, a stealth option. But it's not entirely necessary. You can totally get through that game with just blasting your way through which is the way I did it because that's the way dad did it and god bless America anyways um yeah so moving on from that Wolfenstein the Old Blood uh this was originally developed as a stand or as actually as two pieces of DLC um and you can kind of tell you can kind of tell that it was it's a very like two very clear kind of chapters or sections of the game um, it's more of what you liked, I suppose, and probably some of what you didn't like about uh, the New Order. Uh, you know, because at the end of the day, this is a it's a gallery shooter, and that and kind of in lies the problem. The way the reason why the New Order was so successful is that they constantly kept things varied. You were constantly going from set piece to set piece to new area. Um, everything always felt fresh and unique, and there was always new people to meet and new things to do. And they also have this little great kind of hub world where you would go back and talk to your teammates and and kind of learn more about the history of what's going on. Uh, this one is much more stripped down, which makes sense because it's not a full-fledged game or whatever. It's a twenty-dollar product, um, but it is pretty. It's pretty bare bones. It is the experience of the new order without kind of the flair of the new order, um, which kind of disappointed me. I don't, and like, like I said, I, like, I didn't have any expectations for New Order. I did kind of have slightly higher expectations for the Old Blood, um, just because I enjoyed the New Order so much. And after playing the Old Blood, it kind of illuminated what was really great about the New Order, which was the things I said before. Uh, it is constantly changing, shifting, introducing new characters and new gameplay styles, and, you know, just, it's always fresh. The, the Old Blood is essentially two or three areas, for the most part. And you're going to spend a lot of time there. It takes uh, about six hours, six, seven hours to beat it on, like, normal difficulty. And what you can kind of do is just move through the areas and you engage in shooting galleries, kind of like your standard first-person shooter game. And it just kind of, like I said, it just it, it kind of reminded me of why I liked the new order so much because of the the variation this game unfortunately does not have that uh it's it is purely gameplay which if you if you really really love the gameplay in the new order you're gonna really really enjoy wolfenstein the old blood but for me that just wasn't the hook um there is you know there is a story here this is a plot this is a prequel that's supposed to kind of lead up to the events of the new order um and it does so pretty successfully. It also makes references to the fact that the New Order was kind of indirectly a sequel to, I believe, Raven Software's uh, from like 2009 Wolfenstein, uh, which was like a reboot and of the entire like franchise. It was a completely new thing, but it was kind of a uh, I don't know panned. Like I know that it has its fans, but it was never a widely like acclaimed game. Um, I ended up actually getting playing the old or the new order rather god damn it was confusing the new order uh kind of on a whim it was in red box and i was just like i was bored and i was like oh what the hell i got that and actually watchdogs on the same night and ended up pretty much bringing watchdogs back like two days later and i kept it kept the new order until i beat it um because it, it was so much fun wolfenstein the old blood is fun to a point like you know what I mean? Like, there's just... It, because it just doesn't have the flair, like I said. It doesn't have the, the... The joy de vivre, I guess. Like, it's not as much fun. It's not as funny. The characters aren't as good. Um, which... What little you actually see of the characters. Because there's some kind of... There's some villains lurking about this world. But they're never really... I don't know. 
they don't do enough with them until like kind of the end, and then even then, it, and it's pretty abrupt and unsatisfying, in my opinion. Um, but like I said, mechanically it's sound. It is the same as the new order. So if you like the new order, you'll probably enjoy the old blood to a certain extent. If you haven't played the new order, I would suggest going and getting that instead because you could probably find the new order for about almost the same as you're going to pay for the old blood. The old blood is like 20 bucks. If the old blood was say, you know, you could pick it up on a sale for five or ten dollars, I would say totally. It's totally worth your time. Because um, it's not a complete waste. I didn't feel like I was completely wasted, wasted my time. I just kind of felt bummed out by it um, for the reasons I stated before. Um, so it kind of just, it was a little deflating a little bit because was, it was really exciting to like kind of play new, new order style Wolfenstein stuff. And it only, that kind of excitement lasted for about half the game. And then I was kind of like, all right, all right, like this is getting kind of old hat. Especially, you know, especially the first half, I'd say, more than the second. Because there was a clear, like, delineation where you can tell where they stitch the two DLCs together. Like, in vibe and feel. Like, the first half is, you know, you're you're trying to escape a prison. And, and then the second half, you're kind of, like, fighting zombies. And it gets more, like, mystical. It introduces some of the supernatural stuff of uh, from the Wolfenstein lore. Uh, which you know is it's fun, but like it's just also feels very slight. Even the uh, the actually the end boss of the this little standalone game is really disappointing, really easy to beat, and just incredibly disappointing. I was never I never felt challenged at all. I mean, like I said, I played it on normal, and I have no intention of not on playing it on any harder setting, because uh, there just wasn't enough really that I felt like I wanted to go back and really check out. Like it's already uninstalled off my PlayStation Four. Uh, just I just and I, I kind of regret it. I regret the purchase because uh, I kind of bought it impulsively, but yeah, you live and you learn, you know. So final thoughts on Wolfenstein: The Old Blood. It is okay. It's an okay game. Like I said, if you haven't played the New Order, go buy that instead. I think you will be pleasantly surprised by that. It is a great mix of old and new and it's it's funny it's insightful it's kind of got a cool world there's a f like a lot of surprises it even has a little bit of a variation in story depending on what you do uh the old blood is is not that at all it's just mechanically it is the same but just the feel is a little bit off to me um like i enjoyed it but didn't love it um and and i can't say that i i, I regret playing it but you know, I, I do regret playing, paying twenty dollars for it. I just don't. I don't think it's there, like as a twenty dollar game. Like, and I'm not talking about length or the value or anything like that in terms of that kind of stuff. It's just, it does. It's not that it feels lazy. It feels like DLC, and I guess I don't know what I expected because it was two pieces of DLC stitched together. But it feels like kind of mediocre DLC. I guess it doesn't bring anything really new to the table and. I don't know. So if you're not super hard up to get back into uh, you know shooting shooting gallery of Wolfenstein style, then maybe pass on it. If you are, well, I think it's going to serve you right. All right, everybody, this is Sean, and I will talk to you guys next time. I have something to talk about.